Okay, so here are my five planners and I think today we're going to start with my planning planners which would be this A5 Paper Chase Map one and this Personal Size Geometric File Facts. So we'll put the others to the side for now and get to looking at those. Okay, so here are my two planning planners. I have my Personal Size uh, geometric file facts which is my day-to-day -day planning it contains my weekly to-do lists my blog planning and things like that and then here I have my A5 paper chase planner which is a lovely map themed planner that I bought for around 25 euro on the paper chase website when it was on sale um, this planner contains things like my monthly view, uh, lists of important information and things I like to track like my reading, craft lists, wish lists and things like that. So we're going to start with this A5 planner and we'll put this one to the side for a moment. So when I open this up you'll see that this one is quite heavily decorated planner. I This one because of its size and what I have in it, this planner tends to just stay on my desk and it doesn't move around too much. So I felt like I could decorate it a lot more than I have with the personal size here. Um, I've gone for a black and gold and silver theme. So here I just have anything I anything I had in my craft room basically that fit the theme. I kind of stuck it in. I had these. Lots of things are stuck in with these uh, gold paper clips. For some of them I've added ribbon that fits with the theme. I have things like these tags. Here's just a Polaroid, mini Polaroid picture of me and my twin. Um, I have more Polaroid pictures stored here in these little pockets. But uh, most of the stuff here is just for design. Now here I have my dashboard. Uh, I originally got these dividers from these printable dividers, this pattern paper here that you see from I think the shop's called Strawberry Scraps on Etsy, I'll link to it below. I was, originally go I was originally going to have a much plainer looking planner but as I just started decorating more and more I got a bit carried away so eventually I decided that these dividers and stuff needed to be decorated as well so again I just stuck more tags and pictures down just so that it would fit in with the theme and then I laminated them to just make them more sturdy so that's my dashboard if I turn it over you'll see that because I laminated it I was able to put plenty of sticky notes on the, the other side which are always handy again though so I have my planner divided into sections down the side but also up the top. So the first top section is my monthly view. And again these are divi these dividers here are more papers from the printable sets from Strawberry Scraps. Again decorated with bits and pieces from my craft room. Contents of this planner here is heavily inspired by bullet journaling. I did originally think of having a bullet journal, but I really like ring ring band planners and being able to move things around if I wanted to. So instead, I took lots of inspiration from the bullet journal, bullet journaling, and just combined and put it into this ring planner. So here I have my yearly view with my color coding here. Uh, I have my future log and then I go into my monthly sections which I have this divider that I move around for so I can easily get to the current month. So the first month that I have and the month that it is at the time of filming this is September. So see my inserts here are fairly simple. I just have my monthly view here with on the right, I like to keep track of things that happen. So if I have incoming mail or outcoming mail, 
if I order something, when it arrives. I keep track of all these things that happen on the right hand section. And on the left hand section I have things like birthdays, payments that are due. And say for example here I have my master start date. Then here I have my goals section. I like to make a couple of goals every month. Then down here I just I like to keep track of my Dutch score on Duolingo which I do once a month and my weight. The next section I have is my expenses section for the month which I've just covered up bits here. Um, it's just filling in the date, what I get or where, in, out, things like that. This section here, I like to keep track of what my money is in different places at the start of the month and the end. And I haven't been using this set, this section here because I haven't had a chance to save much this month. But this is my savings jar, so I can just colour in the when I reach certain marks for savings in the hopes of reaching some saving goals. And then the last section of the month is this one which is just a note section and just things to do. So I can fill in things to do that I want to get done sometime during the month here. And then I can just reference that when I'm uh, filling in my weekly lists in my personal planner. So we just have the October inserts which are the same basically as the September ones. See, this is what it looks like uncovered, my expenses insert. Um, so, then we move on to section number two here, which, again, the printable dividers by strawberry scraps and decorate, which are decorated and laminated. This section here is for my master's degree. So, I'm doing an online master's degree in world heritage conservation so it's handy to have a section in my planner for just keeping track of all the information on that um, you know I have my list of modules and module codes I have this so I can fill in important dates relating to my master's degree and also things that happen so if I submit my assignment I can keep track of when I do that and it's just handy to have some of the master's degree completely separate from the other things uh, then I have my, just this is just information here about the modules I'm doing and then the, and the information on the assignments. I have a couple more pages to put into this section such as contact information and such but this planner here is still technically a work in progress. It's almost finished but there's just a few bits and pieces here and there like, like I said the contact page. So. The third section here is my information section. You're probably not going to see a lot in this section because I have a lot of things covered up. Like I just have this random information, things like you know, my blog, my Instagram, I have like my address and phone numbers and stuff. More random information. I have lists of birthdays and anniversaries that I can reference and fill into the monthly views. And then beyond at this point is private information things like passwords and such, so you're not going to get to see that. Instead, we're going to go straight to my tracking section, section number four. And here is where all of my side uh, dividers come into play. These dividers here are ones I made from 8x8 eight eight pa uh, decorative paper, which is a bit shorter then the A5 and longer so I've just folded it over here and cut the uh, cut off the excess to make the tabs so the first section here is my crafting section and I haven't actually filled in this section but it'll basically just be lists of crafts I want to do uh, I can list supplies I might need for each one and things like that but the next section in this is the bookshelf section this is one of my favourite sections. Um, I just came across this idea of having a bookshelf when I was browsing Pinterest and looking at bullet journaling ideas. So I have all the bookshelves drawn out, um, names of books covered in, and I actually have a rating got here, one to five stars. It's based on my you know Goodreads rating, so I colour the books in. When I finish them, I also have the things also because I like having things divided up into different sections. I 
have my little show, so travel and adventure, myths, legends and folklore, fantasy and sci-fi and such, so I have room for adding more books for each genre. And as you can see, I have quite a large bookshelf. Keeps going on and on. Um, space for more. And then this is this one here is just a separate. This one is specifically for academic reading related to my master's degree. I may at some point switch this one over to the master's section, but for now I'll keep it in the bookshelf section. So next up is my language section. I'm learning Dutch using Duolingo and every month I do the extended quiz. So I just here keep track of my score. This section here, which I haven't been doing too much language stuff this month, so this fairly, this, well, it's basically empty. But here, I'll be keeping track of things like if I read anything or if I watch anything in certain languages, and keep track of the details of that here. Um, and then I'm testing out this daily tracking idea for my language skills. So I have each of the different things here, like doing Dutch on Duolingo, reading anything in Dutch. I have the learning kanji or reading Japanese news story. And then I can just colour in whatever I do. And it's, it's a nice visual way of keeping track of what I have been doing. So this is the October one. And again, I haven't filled in past that so I can see how these go and if there are things I need to change. Next up is the health and fitness which is fairly simple. I'm just keeping track of my weight every month and I didn't make any insert for September but come October I'm going to be trying this one out. This is just for keeping track of any exercise I do and anything for eating, whether I have a good healthy day for eating or whether I binge on chocolate or anything. I can just keep track of things here. So we're going to, I'm going to see how I like use, using that. Next up wish lists and present ideas so you can see my wish lists of just they're very simple inserts and lists and things like that then I have my present planning so no peeking so this is just it I can jot down any ideas I have for people I can list here who I bought them for what I got what it was and when it's for and then I have a separate Christmas one uh, so it's all very simple but it should be handy for keeping track of my money, what I'm getting and stuff. Uh, second last section is my miscellaneous tracking section. So here I'm just, I just have a savings jars again. Um, Colouring in each month. And then the last section I have here is just for spare paper and other things. So just so that I have spare paper at hand for filling in the other sections. Keep them there. These are just the stickers that came with the planner. Um, I just figured it might be useful to uh, keep them in there, especially they might things like the read, due date, reminder. They might come in useful for my master's degree. I just stuck a piece of paper to the back to make it stronger. Um, and then this is the back dashboard, which again is just some pieces of paper stuck together and then decorated with these the Polaroid frames and tags and die cut images and stuff all again in the gold, black, white, silver theme. The back decorated and tape there. And then we just reach the back section of my planner, which again is just it's more it's for decoration really. I've got pieces of paper here to give a hint of colour. Some more of the Polaroid frames, just a little journaling tag, these little images which are being held in by the paper clips, these this these pockets and envelopes, they're also they're, everything is held in with these paper clips, which I've decorated with uh, pieces of ribbon. Uh, this does come out if you're careful, it just is sending you a hug, which I just thought was cute. Um, I can put things in this pocket if I need to, but I probably won't because um, it is mostly just for decoration. I don't need to use it that badly and um, yeah then I just have the pen holder here. Um, I think I have more these Polaroid frames behind there and that is my A5 planner.
So, yep, that's it. We'll put this one to the side and then next we'll move on to my personal size planner. So like I said, this is the uh, personal size file of facts, geometric design. This is my day-to-day -day planner. This, yeah, this is my personal size planner and you saw how decorated my A5 planner was. This one is much more simple because this, I grab this one a lot, I, you know, I can, I bring it places, it goes in my bag. It used to be a lot more decorated, but paper clips and stuff would fall off and go missing. So I simplified it a lot. And it's basically, these are, this is just a journal card that I rounded the corners on. And this is a, an image from a die cut set, uh, which, and they're, they're held in place by paper clips and magnetic bookmarks. Um, they're just to cover up the pockets that I'm not using and then I just have some printable dashboards uh, which I have used in the rest of my planner. These were spare ones. Again, these ones are from Strawberry Scraps on Etsy. And this, okay, this is my dashboard. I made this myself using two small greeting cards with my initials. So I cut them down to size using the bits and pieces to eventually to get to the awkward personal size. Uh, I went around with the black marker, stuck them all together and then laminated them. Which again I like laminating things to make them more sturdy and also it means on the back side I can store plenty of sticky notes which I do use a lot in this planner. So we move on to my first section which is my weekly section. And it is, well, it's basically to-do lists, lots and lots of to-do lists. So I have my inserts for most of the year here. These inserts here are from Plan Inc. on Etsy. They're printable ones, and I love these inserts because there's plenty of lists. So you can have a list here, here, weekly tracking, the notes section, as well as have this section for things to do on specific days, so go to a random page here. Um, by the way, uh, most of the stickers you'll see in my planner are from, I think it's Pretty Crafty Stickers on Etsy. Again, the link below. So, as you can see, I have to-do lists here. I have weekly tracking things, I have things I want to do every day here that I keep track of. I tend to use this section here to keep track of my snail mail, what I have to reply to, and then I can list things that are done on specific days I can list here, but I also just decorate this section a lot. Slightly more simple one here. I did struggle for a while to find inserts that worked for me. The ones that came with the planners, I never really liked them, so I'm really glad I found these ones. I've been using them for quite a while now and I love them, I'll probably keep using them. So we move on then to my blog section because I like to keep my blog in lots of order. I have more sticky notes here. Um, these are the Filofax week per page inserts which I'm not as picky for th as the ones I use for my blog planning as you can see. It's just for simple keeping track of my ideas and posts for certain days. It can get quite messy, but there is some order to it, trust me. I, I manage to make sense of it. Um, I just fill in, you know, I usually post on Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. Fill in my topic, I fill in my topics and ideas and I can just tick them off when I have written them. So, I use sticky notes to write down the names of ideas for blog topics and then I just put them in here and here. Then when I have written the post I will transfer the sticky note to this page and then when I have scheduled the post it moves here which actually those ones posted and as you can see when something has uh, gone up on my blog the sticky note gets taken away and then like I said here then these pages I use for 
more writing in more detail of the ideas so I can reference that when I am writing posts. And then my third section here is my list section, which is, as it implies, lists. These are uh, these pages. They're from here. This is a memo pad that I bought in TK Maxx. So the pages are narrower and a bit shorter than personal size pages, but they do work. So I just punch the holes in and I can keep lists. So I have a shopping list, book reading, just a quick craft list, spare pages. Um, I then have this card inserts for cards that people give me. My Pierre reference card and then ones with uh, discount codes and stuff. Cover that up with my hand. Then this here is a pocket I made myself. Um, if you want to know how to make something like this, I do have a tutorial on my blog. It opens up like this because I've got the holes and I can keep some general supplies in this. I have sticky notes, uh, washi tape, stickers. Um, Journal card and stuff. Here I have sticky notes. Um, I think I have more sticky notes. Yeah, more sticky notes on these. And then I have this little pocket here, which I can get in, get what's inside. Yeah, I have some more stickers in there. And that just closes with a uh, another magnetic bookmark. If I can get, now I can't get the stickers back in. There we go. Um, but yeah, just because if I am. Out and about, you know, on the go, I can, I can always have some sticky notes with me to keep track of things. And then we have my back dashboard, and that is it. Can we just have this memo pad here? Just another uh, dashboard here, just add some color in the background. My pen, and that is my personal size planner. So like I said, these are my planning planners. The other ones I have, I have used for various other purposes, which you'll get to see in the next video. But until then, I shall leave you. Hope you've enjoyed watching this, and bye!